top. This is naturally for us. Okay. I know you're wondering, what is she doing? <laughs> but uh, I was just showing you my side. I'm a size 7. And um, I don't know. Um, how can I put it? Okay. I just want to be a blessing, okay, to everyone that, um, uh, I want to find a good way to say it, um, working, very working on their diva body, <laughs> okay, because we're all diva, okay, and I mean diva in a good way because I know um, I was just thinking back when I first came on YouTube and I uh, used to, you know, type out, you know, like after, you know, comment on everybody's page and afterwards I would put LOL. And I was, uh, my sister, uh, she finally, I finally, uh, <laughs> I signed up for Facebook and everything. My sister said, you always ending everything you say with LOL. Uh, do you know what that means? And I said, what does it mean? Because I was told, and I know that it was my lovely subscribers playing a joke on me. <laughs> they told me it was love online. So I'm putting, I'm thinking, I'm putting afterwards, love online. Isn't that something? <laughs> And I had been doing it a long time, and I didn't know that it meant laugh out loud. And until, I'm not kidding, it was this one lady, uh, she thought that I was like laughing at her. And I'm telling you, I wasn't because I guess I was playing a joke on, so, you know, I was putting it out there. I thought I was putting love online, so that's why I said, when I say diva, <laughs> I mean it in a good way, okay? My, my meaning is, you want to look beautiful, and you want to live in this body, and you want to be happy, okay? And loving, and loving, every, and loving life. <laughs> that's what I mean about diva, so I just wanted to make uh, make that play uh, so everybody would know that I'm not talking about it okay because you know I know that's a lot going on but I'm not like that I am very down to earth and very peaceful calm person <laughs> I love peace I'm the peacemaker that's me okay but anyway I came on to uh Talk about my husband's book. Okay, and he would be on here with me, but uh, he's uh, um, reading his word and meditating on God's word. So I don't want to disturb him. Okay. So this is his new book. In fact, you know, it's new for us. Okay. Live to be 120 without sickness and disease. And we're trying to sell at least a thousand copies. Well, this is going to be the best seller, baby. <laughs> okay. And this is all about the, how we live and what we eat and what we've learned, okay, from the years. Okay. I want to live to be 120. <laughs> okay. And I'm 63. And guess what? I have never had a challenge with my uh, health. When I was younger, yes, because I used to eat everything and anything. <laughs> because that's the way I was raised, okay? That's all I knew. Again, I'm trying to keep this uh, video short. But that's all I knew. I would eat pig's feet and uh, anything that came out of a package. I was the package girl, the donut and the uh, uh, ice cream, 
chocolate ice cream with my friend. I was addicted to chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Soda and sugar. Every sugar thing I would think of, I would, you know, want to consume. But over the years, I'm telling you, uh, the worst is when I was a child, I act like a child. But when I got older, I put away from the city. So I, I put that with when food is concerned. When I was a child, I would just ate anything and everything. But uh, when I become an adult, I start looking at it and I said, when I eat this, I feel like this. So why am I feeling like that? Is it because something I ate? So I just put two and two together. Yes. <laughs> Bing. You know, <laughs> like, uh, 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 Oprah said, she ha we have one of those aha <laughs> moments. <laughs> I thought that was funny, but anyway, sorry, Oprah. Okay, but I had one of those aha moments. <laughs> okay, I'm not supposed to be eating all of that. And guess what? Your body doesn't need all of that. And guess what? Your body really wasn't created to function on packaged foods. So we're supposed to eat all that is living, nothing dead. Okay? Nothing dead. All these are living. And I'm telling you, when you eat like that, you are more peaceful, you are more calm, and um, you don't think all these negative thoughts. I'm telling you, when I used to eat meat, I used to think about death all the time. And I was wondering why, why, why and all this thing about death. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> I don't want to commit suicide while I'm thinking about death. So, but I understand now. It's because when you're eating uh, unhealthy things, when you're eating death, I'm telling you, those, uh, uh, what do you call the blood of those different animals, it's all in the blood in the blood. Okay. So, I'll tell you, that's why I, I have stopped eating everything there. And I'm eating nothing but living food. So, I want everybody to get the book. This is naturally for us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. Okay, I'm telling you, we have to watch what we eat. And even for our babies, our children, and we have to be the example. And guess what? We, the women, are the ones that are feeding our family. It should be the men who put, it's the women. Come on, ladies. Let's fight the good fight for our family. Bye. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious in you and give you peace today. Have a blessed day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.